everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm is and i like to cook feel good food that being said today i'm recreating a recipe that i cooked a while ago on my tiktok and instagram probably like six months ago at this point um it is buffalo chicken alfredo pasta and it is really good if you're a buffalo chicken kind of person highly recommend this recipe so let's get right into it behind me i already have a pot of water boiling so for this whole recipe you just need chicken breast, some Parmesan cheese, I'm adding some spinach, this is optional, some whole milk, buffalo sauce, and some pasta. I like to use all different kinds of pasta. Today I have some fettuccine noodles, and fettuccine noodles hold thick sauce pretty good, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. You can also add garlic. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of ranch. My fiance doesn't like ranch, but if you like ranch, add some of that to the pasta. It adds another depth of flavor and some salt and pepper. And that's about it. Next thing I'm gonna do is slice up some chicken breasts. You can leave them whole and cook them whole. It just takes longer. So I'm gonna slice them up and cook them just so it's a little bit quicker. I'm not gonna lie, raw chicken really grosses me out. Make sure you get rid of that pad on the back. I'm just gonna cut them into like one inch strips. Another debate that I always see on my TikTok and Instagram is whether or not people wash their chicken. And I am not somebody that washes my chicken. I don't mean to stir the pot, but I believe that if you wash chicken, especially in a sink, it's just gonna spread bacteria and get it all over. So I don't wash it. And always make sure if you're cutting raw meat, you give your knife a good sharpening right before so that it goes right through the meat with ease. I just find cutting raw meat way less stressful when you have a sharp knife. My chicken is all sliced up and now we're gonna give it a good seasoning. I use all different kinds of seasonings and I switch it up a lot. Um, so today I'm gonna use this classic buffalo seasoning, some spicy Dano seasoning, a little smoked paprika, and some Herbamare or herb sea salt. I have been loving this stuff. I got it recently on Thrive Market, 10 out of 10. And we're not shy with seasonings in this house. I also got this classic buffalo seasoning on Thrive Market. It's from the brand of Noble Made, and I've been loving it so far. It's pretty versatile. I love buffalo seasoning in general, so we're really gonna load it up. Some old reliable spicy Danos. I love this stuff. I love the original Danos as well. Not being shy. Our water is boiling, so I'm gonna add our pasta. And don't forget, whenever you're making pasta, reserve your pasta water because that makes for the most luscious sauce. While my pan is heating up, I'm gonna add some whole milk to this jar because we wanna temper it before we put it into the sauce or else it will get mm, coagulated. I don't know what word I'm looking for. It will get chunky, about that much. I have my skillet heating up to like a medium heat and I'm gonna add some olive oil. Then you wanna add your chicken and just cook it until it's cooked through. It should take like five to seven minutes depending on how much you have and how big your skillet is. Chicken is looking pretty good. Once your chicken is cooked through, remove it from the pan and put it to the side. Now it's time to make the sauce. I'm going to mince some of my pickled garlic and add it to the pan. I've got like four cloves here. I get so many questions about my garlic crusher, and yes, it's meant for garlic and ginger. If you wanna try it out, it's linked in my Amazon storefront. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. Let your garlic and tomato paste cook down a little bit. To temper my whole milk, I'm just gonna add a splash of my reserved pasta water. Give it a good stir. You basically just wanna heat it up slowly so that it doesn't curdle. Curdle, that's the word I was looking for. My milk is nice and warm, so I'm gonna pour it into the pan. Now I'm gonna add some buffalo sauce. I'm making a mess and I'm not measuring anything. Let's say like one fourth of a cup. And now we're gonna bring our sauce to a simmer. Yum. While the sauce is simmering and doing its thing, I'm gonna grate some Parmesan cheese. The best part. Adding my chicken back to the pan with the sauce. Get it nice and coated. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Also adding my pasta to the skillet. I like to add a little bit at a time so that I don't add too much. I need tongs. All right, mix it all together really well. Oh yeah, looking good. I'm gonna add my spinach. Also adding another splash of my reserved pasta water just to help with the sauce. And I'm just gonna cover the pot to let it wilt a little bit. Finally, adding my Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah. Mm, my fiance is gonna be so happy when he comes home to this. Mm -hmm. If you like buffalo, you have to try this. And that's how you make buffalo chicken pasta. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to comment, like, subscribe, interact. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. And hopefully I will see you in the next one.